this video i'm going to show you the new capability within microsoft power automate authoring interface within the modern interface uh, and ability to pin items now i'll first show you the use case what i meant uh, so, so take for example you are in the old interface for microsoft power automate and you have created a flow and there are a lot of components within this flows there are a lot of action now there are two specific component over here named as style oslo and style norway uh, this is a compose action and it has some items in it now i want to compare this because during development process you might have created some duplicates and then you want to compare those items just to see whether you have made a correct change or not so example now style oslo has some sort of a styling component within it okay and it has a um, html css combinations okay now I just want to compare Style Oslo with Style Norway and just want to make some changes according to the component. Now, as you see over here, now as this is just side by side, you can just do a scrolling and then you can compare it, but it's still very difficult to compare what you have written, right? So if you want to see the difference between these two, uh, CSS, you, it will be very challenging. Or maybe you, what you may do is like, you may copy this, uh, uh, CSS and then put it in a notepad so you will what you will do is like maybe you go to notepad you paste it and then you go into an, another notepad you take in another uh, component action and then put it in a notepad and then start doing some side-by-side -side comparison right what is the difference now this problem is completely solved using the new modern interface so if you go into uh, make.powerautomate.com here this is the same uh, power automate flow using the modern interface now with the help of pin action which is a new capability within the authoring interface you will be able to compare okay so how to do that so first what you need to do is like you need to select your main component so i'll select my main component now as you see over here i can see the the content of that particular component now it need not be just a text component it can be you can go into settings you can go to code view you can go to about you can do a whole bunch of things so i'll just i'm just showing you about just one uh, uh, component now you go here you select this component now this is the component which you have selected now if i select the second component the second component will be shown in the preview over here so let's select the first component and if you select this three dots over here it says pin action okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pin the style oslo over here so i'll select pin action now as you see over here now you can unpin this action okay so first we have pinned this now second if i go to style norway over here as you see over here style norway has come over here right so the preview pane is showing like as you see over here though so this the left side is the pinned action and this is uh as you navigate okay so that's why you know the the right hand side component keeps on changing so if i select send an email it keeps on changing and as you see over here say so what we have done essentially like if you click on style oslo because this is a pinned component it will just show uh, that component itself but if you select on another component then it will show that uh, uh another pinned component now what we can do from here the what the best thing has happened is now you can compare the differences between these two uh, item component now if i want to compare these two css then i can easily compare and see that oh uh, here we have using a form called as verdana here i'm using helvetica okay and is there any other changes uh yes i can see padding bottom is 14 pixels here it is 12 pixels okay so this is how i get to know uh, the differences now are there any other changes yes i can see the background color of the table is eee and here is jdd so this is how we can do a side by side comparison of the component now as i mentioned to you this component need not be in very close proximity it can be like say seventh page down you can still compare that because of the spin action so the spin action is uh, really useful for the developer if they have gone into the deep level programming in power automate and if they want to compare various component now the component need not be of same style or same type like i'm comparing two compose action but then you can compare a compose action with a trigger or compose action with a send email functionality just to uh, make that linkages between the source codes now here 
uh, if you see this three dot you can again do a pin action now this time style nor we will get pinned on the left hand side and then style oslo you can compare or you can compare list rows or you can compare other components so this is the pane which keeps on changing this is the pane which is basically uh, uh will be pinned up <laughs> now uh, you can also unpin an action so i have just unpinned an action so once you unpin an action this will be like your normal uh, view of uh, navigation uh, if you want to pin it you can also do a right click and do a pin action so here i'm just uh, making style norway and then i'll just say pin action and also if you just do a right click you can also unpin an action okay so style norway pin action and i'm navigating through different component and then i can view the information so this is how you basically use the pin action but the pin action is only available in the uh, the new designer if you navigate to the old designer again it's an old way of uh, troubleshooting if you encounter this issue again i mentioned to you that you need to open the component copy this in a notepad and use make use of a different style editor to do that one is to one comparison so that's it folks this is how you basically use uh, the pin action within microsoft power automate thanks for watching